be in the mode. And we're here Woo! one more time. We're trying to give you the best show be on Facebook and YouTube. Yo, welcome, 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 welcome. There's two cameras today. There's two cameras. Two yeah. cameras. You can't take it. What up, what up, what up, what up? Thank y'all for the support. Shut up. Now let's get to it. So, uh, what's going on, man? Nothing much, What's going bro? on? Thank y'all. Yeah, uh, Welcome I'm to Bitter Mode. trying to post a pic for y'all over Bit, here. Bitter Mode show. We working, we working. All right, we're going to get into the topics. And, uh, yeah, this is what we got on the docket. Uh, so today, we got two dockets today. We got, we got a we lot got of stuff. Dockets. We got page one and page two. Ooh, you want to talk, what we want to start with? Let's start with, um, Let's start with that. this one. Okay. So, this one right I mean, here. Explain why we're talking about it first. What What is this milestone? So, today is, or well, yesterday today like, was. Uh, give it to me. It's. Trump's 100 day review um, And historically He is the first president historically To have a very low Approval rating So what we're going to do is It's low, it's beyond belief It's disgustingly good, it's biggie So what's, what, 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 what normally happens Is like in a job, you do a 90 day review Yeah, do a 90 day review You do a 90 day review, but that's, so it's a 100 day review So it's like a 100 day, 90 day review Yeah So, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's ask we, we need to ask Trump, okay, how do you feel about saying things. About your your your, your first ninety days uh, uh, as a as a as a president. What do you think he would say? He's like, and then my approval rating has dropped. But let me tell you something. What must come down must go up. <laughs> if you're at the bottom, started from the bottom. Now we're here, and you, if you're at the bottom, you can't go nowhere but up. <laughs> so that's what's I'm gonna that. make it in a few days. Go up like my skyrockets, my almost skyrockets, <laughs> my skyliners. Yeah, he's he's he's. I don't I don't know how you twist I, I it. I don't, know, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you like twist it. Like if you would have been like, yo, approval rating is now. Nah, yeah. His approval rating has also been like the lowest of like history. He's at thirty nine percent. Okay, and it started, it started. It started at what? It started like at forty three, like yeah. right after like it, November, it, December. It January. probably jumped up at one point, but then went all the way down because I heard it was so now, like, at one point. exactly now. Currently, like at this like day today, it's around thirty nine percent. Yes, so it's dropped, and we we did some research because we you know we researched yeah. it. Yeah, we researched it. We didn't so, do, we didn't do fake news. No fake news. And, it's all and, real. And what we found out was that uh, usually what happens is is that most presidential ratings go around like fifty yeah. percent. And they go up and down, but they never go this low. Yeah. And they don't stay this low <laughs> after thirty after well, after three months. You know? Trump is on his way to make history. Yeah. He he is the first president historically to be a celebrity in chief. Yeah. And yeah, you know, well, it's it's, yeah. and it's in that route. It's, it's destined to be. But let me. T- but but tell me what you got on that list, right? Oh, right here. Look, we got a few things that we disapprove of. Huh? Yeah, okay. Let's go. So first thing I got is North Korea. Okay. Kim Young Jong Il, I promise I will bomb you. What's his name? Kim Young Jong Il. <laughs> Kim Young Jong Il. Kim Young Jong Il. You know who we're talking about. You know who it is. That you, guy. You know who it is. That the Chinese guy from sure? North Korea yeah. that has a smoke. <laughs> the Chinese guy from North Korea. The shortest one. The shortest, the shortest one. one. The shortest one. Do you want one with the smallest hands? With the bad mind. With the bad hair. Yeah. With the messed up haircut. You talk about my hair. Look at his hair. He looks like. A kid, he was 12 years old. <laughs> he, look, he has a 1993 haircut. He looks like a fat baby in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> he has a 1993 haircut. <laughs> from, like, from like a camp, like a silly shorts camp, 1993 haircut. But seriously, yeah. with, with his approval rating and, and where he's, like, his military presence in South Korea at the moment, he is touching on that button to war. So... To get your approval rating up, you're not gonna start another war. Look, we don't we don't, we don't mean to get we, we don't really need to be political. We don't need yeah. to get political. No, we're just you know we're just poking fun, but it's just you gotta scratch your head a couple of these things. Yeah, bro. And you know what's crazy to me is that I understand because he's kind of like he's being more broad than yeah. Obama. Because Obama, he said Obama he was, he was, was more, more fearful, diplomatic. more diplomatic. He wasn't aggressive. Yep. And I kind of admire a little bit of Trump, like kind of showing his like his like you know what do you call it? Showing his, his uh, uh, bravado. His bravado. He's showing his chest. But, but, he's going like, hey, but, yo, but think about this, bro. You want and this? like in the yeah, exactly. And he's doing that, and I, and I understand that it's America, America, and it's America. like you know showing that like you know don't, don't mess with us. But at the same time, in one week, like in one week, yeah, he went to almost he started a war with three different countries: Syria, Syria, Russia, because Syria and Russia. Syria, well, no, Syria, and it was um. 
Okay, and it was North Korea. North Korea. Syria, North Korea. And he bombed Syria. Afghanistan. He bombed the ISIS. Oh yeah, he the bombed ISIS the ISIS camp. in the, the so bunker. In, in one week, bro, he bombed Syria. He bombed Afghanistan. And he took, he then took he poked King, on North Korea. Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il. Yeah, he was I like, like yo, him. go f yourself. Yo, we ready. They released the recording. And I'm like, we, we ready? Yeah. Mother, we got three different wars, and then and, then, <laughs> and you're poking the bear, Russia. Like, no, that's a lot. So anyway, it's it's, it's going to put make up that. What talking you about will. Russia, you know, the Russian Pea Party <laughs> allegations. Who they right? dropped that. They dropped that rating too. What do you mean, Russian Pea Party? What the, the, the 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 golden shower. <laughs> we covered that. Russian people are there. We did. We did. We covered the golden we, we shower. We covered the golden shower. And, and, that, and that, it, that does not help approval rating if you smell. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we covered that like week one or week two. Yeah. <laughs> that was early. That was really early. But that doesn't help the approval rating. No, we're, going in a, we're going in a 100 day review right here. It's very rare to have a golden shower uh, controversy and have your approval rating go up. <laughs> so. Hey, look, look, look at uh, Andrew Weiner. He was just sexy. <laughs> it doesn't help that your name is Wiener. Either. No, no, <laughs> it no, know. it didn't. So. Look, he came in. Uh, uh, he did a failed healthcare bill. He's backing up the wall. He got a whole immigration ban recall because ain't no one proving the thing, and it's just it's dumb. Uh, His approval rating is horrible. It's no. Nah, I just I'm just curious about like the people that did vote and whatever it was all pro him <laughs> and I want to know like I know you how do, this how do you feel? no 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 I'm not even going because the pro rating obviously dropped right yeah. so there's a couple people we, we covered this like there's a couple people yeah. like that photo of them was like yeah and now they're like what the what is this guy doing like you know so I don't I'm just curious to like kind of hear from like how they see it now because well, cause, like even like okay I'm not gonna name names but my co-worker I have co-workers that yeah. you know so like some coworkers, I'm like, okay, so what's up with your boy? And they be like, eh, he's a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie, you know. So like, so I'm like, you can't admit to me that like he's not a little off. And they're like, no, no. They're like, no, he's a little off. I didn't know, I didn't know he was gonna do that, you know. But but you know, so but then, you know, they gotta hang with the boy. I mean, yeah. you know, I miss Obama. I miss, <laughs> I miss Obama. Obama come back. No, I was gonna say that, right? So you saw when he came back, he was like, uh, so what's been going on since I've been gone? Yeah, Obama's <laughs> chilling, son. Obama's like playing golf. Yeah. Like, Obama's what? like chilling, son. He was putting on some vacation with like a whole bunch of billionaires. He was like, Hawaii, like. You, you, got, you got it good now. You know, one thing we didn't cover was the, was the was all the memes. Did you see the memes? There was memes of like, in Twitter, like Joe Biden and like, oh, and, like, yeah. and like Obama. And then they have one like where Joe Biden's reaching over and then they put like a speech bubble. They'd be like, yo, you know, I took the, the batteries out of the remote. You know? <laughs> you know, or he'd be like, he'd be like, you know, I changed, yeah. I changed the code to the door, like you know, like, he'd be like, and then you see like Obama be like, yo, Joe, yo, body, you, you, you bad for this one, you bad for that one, you know. So <laughs> there but, was one that was a, a a meme. He goes, "Well, I changed all all the passwords to Mexican." <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. But this is funny. And I wonder, I wonder what Joe Biden's doing now. Yeah, they haven't reported on him much. Nah, nah, he's been on the low. He's been quiet. Yeah. I wonder what he's doing. Is he? He's, he's not. He's obviously secret. not playing golf. He's being someone's best friend. <laughs> oh man! But anyway, uh, let's moving, jump to, moving on. Let's jump to the next one: the M- NBA MVP race. So yeah, um, now NBA MVP race. Yeah, it's between Harden. Yo, comment and down West below. Who do you think is gonna be? Because they're gonna announce. Yeah. They usually announce it between second and third round playoffs, uh, or right before the finals. So, um, you, go ahead. So right before even looking it up, I'm, I'm thinking Harden still had a chance because he obviously beat Westbrook in, in, in the in the series. Well, no, it looks like uh, Westbrook's uh, ahead and he's about to win. Okay, first of all, I don't know if you know this, but did you know that the that the MVP race is only regular season? Yeah, it never it never accounts. No, because he had the MB, uh, uh, NBA Finals no, MVP. But playoffs, but yeah, right, but playoffs yeah. is not included. So, okay. so, 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 like, let's say they did that. And now, in the fair, that's a great point because Harden went off, whatever, yeah. and they won. But they don't account that. Yeah. So, by by the time uh, the, the season ends, technically, I think everyone votes already. So, it's just, it's not announced till like, whatever. So, so like, mid-playoffs. So, but I think, honestly, like, if you follow ESPN, you follow all the, all the, all the, the headline sports online, it's, like, unanimous, bro. Yeah, so it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's, you average a triple-double. Average, so it's not been done for like the longest time, yeah. and the people that have done it, they, they've won. Yeah. So, and he's just amazing. Like when you watch him, you he can see that. like he goes like zero to one hundred real quick, oh, and like man. and like he just has another level. And he like for like you know like I love Kobe Bryant. I'm a huge Kobe fan because I admire like his tenacity and his yeah. determination. 
for him to say I'm a Russell Westbrook fan, like that's oh really? That's yeah, that's <laughs> because like even the well, greats they look at Westbrook and they're just like he's on another level. Because look, look at the numbers he's putting. Everyone thought that after KD left, there was no more Oklahoma. Right now, I mean Westbrook picked up and he, he did a great thing with a team that he, he had no one to pass the ball to. You actually about. made a great point because even though they don't take the playoffs into account, yeah. if they didn't make the playoffs, I would say you can make an argument that Harden took his team to the playoffs, but yeah. he didn't on a, on a year drop off. Yeah. But because you see that year drop off, and he still by the skin of his teeth, he did mm-hmm. make the playoffs. Now you got to kind of include him in that. But now that he, everyone sees how Westbrook playing, you think anyone's gonna flock to the Thunder? No, I don't think like alpha males and alpha dogs. I think yeah. it's gonna be like your, your your supportive guys, your secondary guys. But I would want to play with Westbrook. I mean, think about it. No, and, pass, and, and, you gotta pass him the ball as the whole play. Who's the as the whole play of the team? Who's the, pass him the ball. Who's the coach? I don't know uh, the coach, but I think it's a, guy. it's a decent it coach. Well, a, it's, 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 he, the coach is not that bad. Not if, that, if, it's not if, that Tony. Tony is uh, no, Tony's Houston. Now, Houston. believe it or not, he's gonna get. Coach to here because um, what happens is, is uh, Dwight Howard left. Yeah. A bunch of people left. They did a lot of musical chairs there with people. A lot of new people came in. Lou Williams from LA. They made mid mid They got mid- squad. They, they got squad. They obviously doing good. They beat Oklahoma and they, no, they didn't sweep when it was 4 1. But the difference that has happened between a year, between a coach, because this is his first year, yeah. he's going to get coach of the year. Okay. So, but um, shout out to, to that. But um, I was going to say so something else. Comment down below. Who do you think is going to go to the playoffs and who do you think is going to win? Uh, I, I already know my Knicks are going to show up to the finals and they're going to they're gonna win the championship. When? The, what, this, year? This what, what year? What year? This year. This year? What, this year what's, next, what's, when the regular season starts. What's the year you're saying? This the, the one currently. Well, first of all, it's next year is the next. The next year of the current year season. Like, but you say the like, season not, that's about to come up bison, is current. Not the bicentennial? The by 13. The 13 years from the now. The 13, the no. 13 days from now. So every four years, every four. We, we got the participation Every award. leap year, the Knicks will make. For as a Knicks fan, we get participation award. The awards. Knicks will almost make the playoffs, is what he's saying. <laughs> In five years, the Knicks are going to almost not make the playoffs. Almost, that's, almost, almost make the playoffs. That's what he's saying. All right. Okay, so, so so before we get off the top, off top again, so along with the the, the MVP home. race, yeah. So Westbrook is gonna be presented the award, but guess who's presenting the award? Wait, wait, what, can you explain this part? Because I didn't research this part. So you're okay. saying they're gonna present it? They're gonna present the award okay. for MVP, and Drake is the first artist to present the MVP awards. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a new thing because they just announced it. Yeah, like so it's gonna be Drake. Now it's going to be Drake giving it to Westbrook. And you know, Drake and KD mm. got some beef. You know, they don't like each other. Mm. Unless it's just a, some front for television. But in Westbrook and KD still boys? You think there's going to be some beef there? Or, or if, if, if anything, Drake hugs Westbrook and makes KD jealous? KD jealous? Well, so there's definitely a... Oh, so you're saying there's definitely a Drake and uh, KD yeah. friction there. That's what I don't know so much about that that history. They, 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 but they, but, but but you say Westbrook and KD are they're cool. They're not. They're what? they're like uh you know how like they're like, like step brothers. You know, you know how like, you have an ex girlfriend. Yeah. But like you're not on bad terms. But like she'll text you when like she doesn't know how to change the light bulb or turn <laughs> light or, bulb. Or, or turn the water heater yeah. on or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like hey, tell the family say hello. Uh, what's the garage code? You know what I mean? Something like, something like, you know, something, something like, weird. something weird. Like, you know, I still need to know, yo, 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 I, we can't get into your locker. What's your locker combination? You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, tell your mama what's up. You know, something yeah. like that. And that's why I think that's the, the, you know, the connection. That's the connection. That's the connection. <laughs> well, you saw that. You saw that out of you during the All Star game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the no, was, it was a big thing, and they made everyone made a big difference. And you think, you think, right now, you think Westbrook's gonna care? He just averaged. Triple doubles, more triple doubles than him. Westbrook don't care. Yeah. So he could have. The best thing that could have happened to Westbrook was Katie leaving. Yeah. Best thing because he started he started to shine. So. I remember what I was gonna say. What were you gonna say? Uh, explain to me if, if if you have you're more of a casual sports fan, right? So. Yeah. Explain to me why you even think Harden's in the conversation because I have a Harden rant. You have a Harden right? Oh yeah, man, Harden is the conversation uh, um, in the conversation because look what he has done with his team. Look at his team 
where they were last year compared to now. And Harden is that main piece. Harden is the glue. No, no. They got rid of a cancer with Dwight Howard. Yeah. And Harden is the glue of the team. He keeps the team motivated to get to where they want to. He does. He does. I, 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 I'm not going to refute that. However, Harden is, uh, how do you say? You breathe on him and he falls on the floor? I don't know if you've ever seen him play. Yeah. Do you understand? Do you understand? Like, like, like process this for a second. Pro- process this process. for a second, okay? Um, <clears throat> Harden has as many free throws, meaning that they call fouls on when because he, he does the thing, he does the acting, yeah. he does the ah, he does the Susan Sarandon, right? He does the <laughs> he does the uh, the Diane Keaton, right? Yeah. Every time someone puts the hand out or he bumps into them, and he gets fouls called to him, and you get the, what is called the superstar calls, okay? Mm-hmm. He has more free throws every year for like the past whatever five years, more than any team. Put together. Do you, do you understand mm. the, the, the the notion of that? I don't know the numbers. It's but genius. Let's, let's say like it's like yeah, free throws. Let's it's say it's genius. like a couple hundred. Let's say it's five hundred free throws. I don't. There's not research. This part's not research. No disclaimer. But this five, is genius. Okay, but okay, is that genius or is that? I'm gonna have to beat the blue design. Is that a bitch move? Is that like no? This is, that, is not. Is that, like, a, it is not a is that, bitch move like you say. No, beep. it is. Genius. Why is it genius? Because you're getting free shots. Okay. Now, yes, you have to do the flop and do the, ah, the, acting, you say, the acting. The acting. But it's it, it's just genius because if you put that fear into people, they you, you can easily get fouled. Okay. Then you're open for your threes. You're open for your drives to the middle lane, and they're still gonna be careful because you're good at. Okay. Acting. Now, now, now. Okay. Now, also. Uh, also look, at, look at LeBron. No, that's fine. And the and they all kind of do it. And yeah. I understand. Kobe's done it. They all done it. Jordan's done it. But okay, there was also a stat. I think it was like made like right after All Star break. He had you know like the the four, what they call the four point play uh-huh. where, you, where, you, where you shoot a three pointer and you, you force and you bump it to them again. So if the defender's hanging out, is sticking out their hand, he'll like bump it to them and then shoot the three and then get it in, right? Yeah. And then they call it foul because it's the fourth point. Genius. He makes the free throw, right? Again, he has. Those the total of those whatever that is three hundred more than any other team put together. <laughs> this is do, you, genius. do you understand? That is do you understand genius. How much you have to do that? You're playing. You're okay. playing now. Okay. You're this, playing the game. Okay, but this breaks us down to a practicality. All right. Okay. Practicality. We back. We back in New York, bro. All right. <laughs> watch the heights. You gonna watch the heights. All right. All right. I come to your spot. Right. We <laughs> playing ball. We are doing white man can jump. Whatever. You know, we're playing ball, street ball, yeah. right? And you're defending somebody. Yeah. If you blink at him, if you look at him, he calls foul. And he gets free throws. There's no free throws in the hood. Okay, no, that's true. That's true. Street ball. There's no free, there's, there's <laughs> there's no, no free, there's no free throws. throws in the hood. Only scars. Yeah. But. If but, he ain't bleeding, there's no foul. But, no, but, no foul. But if you play in street ball, what do you call it? Um, organized ball? Yeah. Okay, let's say you this say that they have a tournament. They they call fouls. They jump in the There's breath. a dude, there's a dude that does that and you 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 not even touch him. You like you look at him. Foul! <laughs> foul! Okay? This guy is shooting fouls. And he beats you with fouls, with free throws. How do you feel about that? Genius! How is that? <laughs> Yo, so you're gonna lose? You're gonna you're lose the game. Lose the game with a whole bunch of free throws. Bro, he beats do you understand? He has like 20, I think on average, this is not research, on average 20 to 25 free throws a game, okay? <laughs> and then his nine, he's like 90 so, percentile. All right. So, like, he's maybe like so, yo, 20 of those. During all these fouls, he's 20, 25 points, let's say that, 25 yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, 20 to 25 points. Do, uh, do, do those points go to Houston or to the other team? They go to his team. There you go. That's the best. That's the best part. The whole. Well, what if you're playing? What if you're playing against him in the in in, in, in organized ball in New York? You have to figure out his game. You can't. Okay. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Because if they send a pick, okay, if, they, if the person sets a pick, and then you gotta come, and then he bumps into you. You gotta act yourself. You gotta be like, foul. You gotta plant your feet and take so, the charge. So what? Plant is, your okay. feet and take the charge. Yeah, man. Okay, uh, I'm gonna break this down even more. Plant your feet and take I the charge. I got another idea. Another idea. Okay. When Go ahead. we lived in, we were from New York. New York. When we lived in New York. He's from Yorkshire Heights. Okay, you took the subway, right? Yeah. To the subway. 
And sometimes I mean, around four o'clock, five o'clock, you know, it gets a little, it gets a little, little elbow, you know, elbow touch to touch, right? Yeah. So what? If everybody, every time you touch somebody, they come and arrest you. <laughs> <laughs> the Harley claws. <laughs> you, you you get penalized every time you you, you go like someone goes like that, someone goes, Bro. <laughs> someone comes and cuffs you up. And someone's gotta bail you out every time. You get, no, you got to shoot free throws to get out. <laughs> you got to shoot. No, they got the free throws. They get the free throws to shoot. And out. if they made two free throws, that's two hundred dollars. <laughs> Whatever, right? How would Man. you feel about that, bro? Every time you burst, it's look genius at something. if you give me two hundred dollars. Yeah, but if you're the one paying it, and if you're the one fouling out, you gotta learn how to play. No, you gotta learn how to play against Harden. You, you gotta learn how to play against. That's the game. I think Hardy's I have an idea of how to play against Harden. You gotta wear a uh-huh. hazmat suit. <laughs> okay, and they got we gotta bubble wrap you, and you gotta wear mittens and a helmet. Okay, and you also have the cooties. No, but you have. To That's how you guard guard. Uh, what you have to do is you gotta do it like all the like Iverson, bro. You can't. You gotta play him up close and personal. But you see, you see. I did say Jordan, I did say the greats, but they didn't do it as much as him, bro. <laughs> I understand it's an art, whatever, you force a yeah. foul. Especially, you know, last minute. He, even though he does this, is, though, he does the whole, the, yeah, it's flopping. He does the whole game. The, but Yeah, but the only thing I don't like is when he does it against my Knicks. It's okay, but afterwards, it's okay to do it. When he does it against my Knicks, it's But do you, do you understand that, yes, there's an art to that, and yes, that's, an part, art, that's part of the playoffs. But, dude, this dude does it all the time. Yeah, it's kind of che- it. cheesy, but... No, but you should vote for him. Yo, yo listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, I have an idea. Look, listen, I have a suggestion, by the way. If you see James Harden in the airport, let's say you're a fan, right? And you see James Harden in the airport, don't approach him, okay? No, no Don't no, approach no. him for an autograph, because what happens is, if you approach him and say, James Harden, can I have an autograph? So I'm like, ah! No, no, no. He's going to call the cops. It'll be the other way around. What? When he goes and he takes the thing at your hand, you go... <laughs> I'm pressing charges. Foul! Foul! I'm pressing charges. Technical. 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 Foul. I'm pressing charges. Technical foul. I'm pressing charges. You assaulted me. <laughs> that's, that's two free throws. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah. You cannot um, pass go. So I think. So I think you have a great point. Yeah. It's cool that James Harden is doing it as long as he's on your team and as long as it's not against your team. Yeah. There you go. But it's genius. It's genius. What's the next topic? Okay. So uh, we want to shout out. Um, Okay, so we want to shout out uh, uh, my, my wife's podcast. Uh, it's called Love Bits and Bites. Uh, we'll post a link down below. But they were talking about an interesting topic. Um, they were talking about is chivalry dead? Yeah. Right. And they were talking about um, the uh, the uh, the Bronx Tale test. Right. Yep. So if y'all don't know what Bronx Tale test is, you want to break it down? Break it well, down. first of all, let's explain chivalry. Because people saying chivalry is dead. Yeah. Let's yeah. Say, let's and Braun Shield test is one of those yeah. like those, 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 those tests. So one what, what, one thing is just chival to do. Chival? That's that's a chival. No, chival. Chival. Chivalrous. Chivalrous. Is opening the door. Yeah. Uh, 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 being courteous. Being courteous. Uh, uh, walking with the gun on the right side, on the left uh, side. Or, or, or away, from, away the from the street. Right. Yeah. Right. Or else, or, uh, or giving him your jacket, flowers, the clothes, flowers. Yeah, putting the jacket, being, around a, being a true gentleman. That's yeah, what exactly. you know, chivalrous sh- 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 is. Sh- sh- but <laughs> we grew up with the Bronx Tale, and yeah. the test, the Bronx test Sale, the girl. Bronx Tale is a movie, by the way. It's a movie, yeah. Um, what, what's his name, Sonny? No, Sonny? No, no, it was Colosino was the kid's name, and yeah. then the father was Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah. No, the bus driver. The bus driver. Yeah. But... Um, <laughs> the bus driver. But it's funny because we're, we're mixing up the names because Collage knows his name in the movie and then Robert De Niro is the father's name in real life. But anyway, <laughs> whatever. You get the point. You get the point. But anyways, uh, the test was, so let's set up the scene for you. So basically, you pick up the girl for the date. You got the car. Yeah. You got it from the door. Yeah. You walk into your car and you open the door for the girl. For the girl. Close the door behind it, and then you walk around and you look through that 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 real weird uh, windshield yeah, yeah, yeah. to see if she goes and Across. reaches over to unlock the door. To unlock the door for you. So, premise is if she does that, she's the one. She's a keeper. She's a keeper. That's called the Bronx Tale test. test. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's a little old fashioned because back in the day they had the pop up locks. It wasn't power locks, right? Yeah. So you had to go over and unlock it, or you had to go with the key and then unlock it from the outside. And and now I remember little, doing now, that test before. Now it's a little different, but yeah. But you did that test. I think I did. Okay. But with all the automatic doors now, I'm never. I'm not sure. 
Because, yeah, because you're unlocking it with the remote. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, I get it. And it gets a little tricky. I think Lisa failed. <laughs> you think Lisa failed? I think Lisa Yo, failed. Lisa, you got a comment right now. Did you fail or pass the Brasil test? I think she because failed. Because maybe you didn't do that like on the first date, but, but there was she, probably a time where she was at that. Yeah, you know, I, I opened the door for her. When I used to open the door for her, now I was like, yo, just get in. Now, <laughs> now I will argue, uh, if there's a woman watching this and you're single, you're dating, whatever, listen, if if you if you if you're at this point where like he, he still unlocks the door for you and he does like the remote and everything's unlocked, right? What I would still do, honestly, is I would still reach around to like double check that the that his lock is unlocked or make believe you're unlocking it. It's about the gesture. It's not about the unlocking, it's about the gesture that you're you're considerate of him, yeah. and and you know, and you want to unlock it for him, because if the man knows about the bronze cell test and he sees that, and even if it's unlocked, he just sees a gesture. I think that's 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 bounty points right there for the girl. Oh hell yeah! And that means that means you know, according to the movie, that means you're a keeper. That means like there's gonna be a second date. That means he marries you, proposes to you right there, whatever. You know, so that that means that you jumping away, you jumping away. No, no, no. I mean they they brought it <laughs> to that fast. So, well, the movie was bringing it to that level, like oh, you know, she's the one. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but like you know, that just means that, that obviously that 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 bodes well for you. So, anyway, and if there's women watching this, have you been tested? Have you seen that 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 attempt, or what did you do? Did you pass or fail? <laughs> now, now, talking about chivalrous, did you pass or fail? Uh, chivalry, chivalrous, chivalrous, chivalrous. I'm a I'm an old fashioned dude. So you're old fashioned. You, so you, you still have you, you still have chivalry. You're, you're tap, you still you're tap, take part you're, you're of the chivalrous acts. You're tapping into something here because you open a can of worms. Because why? Because I'm a very old fashioned chivalrous dude. Chivalrous. Okay, chivalrous. I'm very chivalrous. Okay, and you can ask my wife, and and, and you know that's just my style. I'm the type of dude that, do, that does it just because flowers and opens the door. I open the door still for people that I don't even know. I still open the door. And I think you do that too. I mean, we're yeah, nice, we're nice, we're nice, we're, 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 we're nice guys, yeah. So, but but chivalry is not that, man. In my opinion, and honestly, I was raised mostly. I mean, I had, I had my dad. I love my dad, but my mom purposely took me around a lot of women. Yeah, and you know, her cousins, my aunts, and so so I was raised around a lot of women. So I got to see that that female perspective, and I got to respect women. Yeah. So every time I would date a woman, they're like, you have. Respect for women, like that's where I came from. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of respect for women too. Like I was taught, you know, yeah. always I can't not not help a lady, especially if you find a lady. Oh yeah, I help you. <laughs> so yeah, and, and also I grew up with with um with with I don't know, it was just saying sir and ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Right? Did you grow up with that? Because I grew up with senor, senora, señor. I feel like I feel like that's a lost art also no, because very lost because art. you're doing the, the 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 thank you sir, thank you ma'am. And it's funny because now when you do this thank you sir, thank you man, like if you're a supermarket or something, they don't want you to they don't no. want you to call them man no more. Right, because they take that as they're old. Yeah. Right? They take that as like a, like an insult. And, and and when I when they say that, I say I say I say actually my parents wait raised me with manners. When I, I say that. And they go they see that it's a sign of respect yeah. rather than a sign that you're old as hell. <laughs> <laughs> because I will even say sir ma'am to even someone that's my age, you know what I mean? Yeah. So but but um anyway, I don't know, it's just that's just weird. It's just a different No, I, I I totally get it. Generation the same thing. Well I'm generation. the customer service, I do the same thing. Yeah. It's just a different generation. Yeah. I think it's a generational gap, right? So generation Now they're like you're X, two. generation Y. Yeah, dude. Dude, dude, that's all I do say now, they, bro. Yeah, you know it's, it's interesting is that like like I do I would call it customer service for like my phone or whatever, and I'd be like, oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna um save money, mm-hmm. and they'll be like, yeah. What? Like like, like at one time a woman was like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I think she was getting. And she was working for like AT and T or Verizon, like whoever I had at the time. And then, like, I, I was so taken aback. Like, did she just say yeah? <laughs> like yeah, like yeah. Or well, she was like, yeah, she was like, yup. So it was just so, like, informal that I was like, oh, my God. And, and yeah, you know, I like getting, I like, I like getting the, the, the newbies. What? They still have them. They don't have that language barrier. They'd be like, yo, what up, bro? What's up? You calling me? <laughs> yeah, it was, I don't know. What's good? What's good? You feel like, you feel like you're talking I can to help you. You feel like you're talking to your boy. Like, yo. I, mean, I understand that. But then on the other side, it's like, you re- you expect that respect or yeah. your customer comes or whatever. But, like, back, that's what we were raised with. We were raised with the respect. Yeah. And like, yes, sir. Yes. You know, you say yes, yes it is, yes you were going to say thank money. you. They don't say thank you nowadays. Nah, they don't say thank you. You open a door for somebody, no. they just take the door. And sometimes, when, if they don't say thank you, sometimes I just want to slam the door in the face. 
And they say they say nasty things when they walk by. Yeah, they have an attitude. It's attitude. Yeah. And, and they want to get you they want to get you man purposes so they can world star that shit. You know, uh, not for nothing, people that are watching it, we very we sound very like get off my lawn right now. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. fine. Get off, get off my fine. lawn. But look, honestly man, if you were to show respect to whoever, it doesn't matter if they're older or younger, yeah. respect regardless, I think that goes a, f- a long way. Even in like the, the, the realm of business and the realm of you know uh, networking with people, working yeah. with people, you show respect like that. Honestly, that I think that goes that extra that extra mile. No, but you gotta so. play pranks on people. That's how you break the the, the, the ice. Yeah, now you're contradicting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of something funny to do. That's why. <laughs> no, no, you mess with people. If I were to go network, I would, I would, I would, I would you mess have, with people. You have a sense of humor. No, just but for, just for shits and giggles. But I, if you know me. But I, 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 I totally see you like 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 having fun, but also. Having Having the respect, yeah. you know what I mean, like, oh, I was just messing with you, sir. You know what I mean, like, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. You know? I want your business still, sir. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, you know, they would enjoy it. So anyway, I, I think there's, that's a lost art. Like that was my wife. Sorry, sir. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I didn't know how to approach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I approached her. <laughs> you, want, you want to wrap it up? Just wrap it up. <laughs> We're gonna wrap it up. So uh, thank you so um, much for watching, watching the show. Uh, we appreciate your feedback, comments, ideas. If you have a comment, okay, for for a sketch or or um, a skit, please comment below. And or if you want, we use it. We'll, we'll, something embarrassing. We'll shout you out. Embarrassing like what? What do you mean? I don't know. Let's let's put a let's do a jar. I'm not embarrassing. Well, there is a jar. It's called Patreon. Patreon.com slash Beer Wow. And we're gonna post that. Good plug. Yeah, and, and, and no, no, and look, and it's not that you know we're we're asking for that, but we we would like support, and we yeah. love support, and with Patreon you get you know support, and you get to support us, and we also we also I encourage honestly people to uh, if you're gonna go on Patreon to support us, also to support other creators. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of other talented creators. We got to meet them last year, yeah. and just great people. So so we you know if you want to support creators and and you want to support good causes, go on Patreon.com and just look. There's a lot of amazing people on there. But um, anyways, you know it's a social media network. Yes. Like, share, and comment. Yes. Yes. Twinkle is the bookie on your Twitter, beard on your mall. you know, beard in the mall, Instagram, beard in the mall, Facebook, beard in the mall, MySpace, YouTube, we Snapchat. Gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get a MySpace. All that MySpace, <laughs> mi gente, mi whatever. Gente. All that AOL chat rooms. <laughs> I'm, I'm on plenty of YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, um, play this. Li- if you're gonna play this live, play this live is coming up in a week. Um. I will be there. Beer in the mall will be there. Uh, uh, he can't be there, but we I will be there. be there. And maybe maybe we'll do like a. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna go live while I'm in yo, class. Yeah, maybe we could do like a like a co live or something like 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 I think I could I could Skype you or something like that. Anyway, yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But but, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. If, live, if you're gonna Skype you. if you're gonna play this live, let me know. Uh, I would love to to meet people we'll and video and, chat with and, you while you're there and network with people. So, um, and also like all the other conferences, if you're watching this. There's a lot of conferences for people that are, are creators. Yeah. There's a, here's a great idea. Let's create something right now. While you walk around playing this, you walk around with your phone while you have me on Facebook Messenger live. And every time you say, hey, who are you? I go, I'm the beer. Yeah, we'll work on that. And, uh, <laughs> we can do it. Tw- that's a good idea. Yeah. We should totally do that. I mean, Let's walk around just, with I'll you. Just, yeah, I'll just mute you. So, um, <laughs> so <laughs> But yeah, um, also, by the way, if you're watching this, um, let us know if you go to any other conferences, because there's, there's a lot. I've been doing a lot of research. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's uh, VidCon, of course, and then there's like, Video Summit. There's a bunch What's of- What's the Video Summit? Video Summit. I don't know where it's at. It's not here, though. All right. It sucks. But it, it, there's a it lot of other uh, conferences. If you go to conferences or have conference suggestions, let us know. And anyway, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support, and we'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.